Good evening and welcome to the return of Final Order FOMO. Giving you one last chance to order new comics and graphic novels before print runs are sent. I'm Dan, the Chief Purchasing Officer here at Green Brain Comics, and I'll be your guide through the Marvel Comics on Final Order this week. Let's start out with... The Death of Doctor Strange, Blade number one. This is an one shot spinning out of the Death of Doctor Strange miniseries. This is written by Danny Lore with art by Dylan Burnett. And we also have a B cover by David Balbion. This is again Death of Doctor Strange, Blade one shot. Next up is Demon Day's Rising Storm. This is a series of one-shots, all written and drawn by Peach Momoko, uh, kind of reframing the X-Men in the style of traditional Japanese folklore. This is the Peach Momoko cover. We have a cover by Kari Andrews, one by Alex Garner, very pretty, and one by Gurahiru. bit better detail there. The ship's on December 1st. Next up is the first issue of a new event miniseries spinning directly out of Daredevil. This is Devil's Reign number one, written by Chip Zdarsky with art by Marco Cicchetto, and this features a cover by Marco Cicchetto. We have a cover here by Peach Momoko, very nice. A Scotty Young cover. And what else do we have here? Oh, and that's all the covers for Devil's Reign. Next up is Ms. Marvel Beyond Limit number one. This is a new miniseries written by Samira Ahmed, best-selling author, with art by Andre Genolet. This is a cover by Marshall Ahmed and Maisel Ahmed. We have a B cover by, uh, by Natasha Bustos in the Miles Morales 10th Anniversary variant design. And a Peach Momoko Stormbreakers variant. And of course, as very fun, Scotty Young, Ms. Marvel, Beyond the Limit cover for number one of a five-issue miniseries. Next up is a one-shot from the Wastelanders storyline. This is Hawkeye number one, written by Ethan Sachs, the writer of Old Man Hawkeye, I believe, and featuring art by Ibrahim Roberson. This cover is by Ozzy Maria... Casanovas, uh, connecting cover by Stephen McNiven, and a cover by Francisco Morbili. Then we have a one-shot Wastelanders Wolverine. This, again, is in the Old Man Wolverine universe. Uh, this is a one-shot written by Stephen S. D. Knight with art by Ibrahim Mustafa and a Jose Maria Casanovas cover. We have the wraparound connecting, I'm sorry, just the connecting cover by Steve McNiven. And they call this the, uh, the podcast connecting variant. Sure. Next up on Final Order FOMO is number twos from Marvel Comics this week. This is a particularly challenging decision for me, making sure that I order enough of Black Panther 2 without any sales information for number one. That is a tough one. If you're interested in this new Black Panther series written by John Ridley, that's right, the Academy Award winning, uh, Academy Award winning director with art by Juan Cabal and a cover by Alex Ross. Get those orders in today. This also features a Scotty Young cover, 
and a cover by Ken Lashley in the Miles Morales 10th anniversary variant theme. Next up is another tough decision, Hulk number two. We're still waiting on number one. This is an exciting new series by Donny Cates with art by Ryan Otley. Also features a Devil's Reign villain variant cover by Pete Woods in the uh, w using the Mr. Fix-It character on the cover. Very nice. We also have a number two this week from the, the Thing. This is a new series written by Walter Mosley with art by Tom Riley. We have this Tom Riley cover. Uh, this Kevin Eastman cover, that's right, Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Min Mutant Ninja Turtles. And a Devil's Reign villain variant by Dan Panosian. Next up on Final Order FOMO, we're gonna find we're gonna look at a couple of graphic novels from Marvel Comics. This is the epic collection Hawkeye the Avenging Archer. This carries all kinds of different miniseries, including his first solo miniseries from 1983. Oh, all kinds of great stuff with this cover by, hmm, is that Don Heck? Says it's Don Heck. I guess it is. We also have a new volume from Immortal Hulk. This is volume 11. This collects a bunch of the... Uh, one-offs and tie-ins from other spin-off miniseries like Absolute Carnage, Immortal Hulk, but uh, they're all written by Al Ewing and they all play a key role in the in the story of Immortal Hulk. This is written by Al Ewing with a cover by Ron Garney. And we have this Miles Morales, Volume 6, Trade Paperback, written by Saladin Ahmed with a cover by Christopher Allen. Collects uh, several issues from the latest storyline in Miles Morales. And Shang-Chi, Volume 2, by Jean Luen Yang, with a cover by Dyke Ruin. I'm sorry, this is a cover by Lionel Francis Yu, and the interiors are by Dyke Ruin. And then we have Spider-Woman, uh, Volume 3, Back to Basics, also collecting issues from the latest series. United States of Captain America graphic novel. This collects the latest miniseries, 1 through 5, featuring uh, a brand new Captain America from all over the United States. And every issue, <laughs> it's a new character parade. The United States of Captain America graphic novel written by Christopher Cantwell with interiors by Dale Eaglesham and a cover by Alex Ross. And next up we have this X of Swords graphic novel. This collects the recent crossover epic by Jonathan Hickman, and uh, all the spin-offs uh, spin that uh, happen within the different series, all crediting those creators individually, and it also features a very cool cover by Pepe Larraz. And finally, in this week's Marvel Final Order FOMO, we have Conan the Barbarian, number one facsimile edition. That's right, this is a loving replica of Conan the Barbarian, number one from 1970, written by Roy Thomas, and exceptional art by Barry Windsor Smith. This has a $3.99 cover price and will be on sale December 1st. All of these items, folks, are on final order cut off this week. And let me tell you, huh. There's a lot. There's a lot more where that came from, and there's a lot more publishers to go over, but that's all I have for you uh, as far as products in the new Marvel. I do want to show you a couple things that are happening around the store this week. We have uh, Downtown Trick or Treating in West Dearborn tomorrow, Saturday, October 30th. 
from 2 to 4, and there will be trick-or-treating in the west and uh, the east Dearborn from 4 to 6. Maybe that one. Let's do that one. And uh, before that, didn't work. There it is. And after that, the uh, the Crow is playing at the Senate Theater. We will be down there from 6 to 11. The Senate Theater is 6424 Michigan Avenue. The Crow will be playing uh, later in the evening, but we're starting out early to include the Devil's Night Gallery film and art event. That all happens at the Senate Theater just a few blocks down from the store. Uh, let's see, Michigan Avenue right around Livernoy. It's happening tomorrow night, Saturday, October 30th from 6 to 11. So much fun happening around the store this week, folks. We will be here all day tomorrow. There will be pumpkin carving at City Hall from 2 to 4, I believe. Lots of things happening. Hope you can join us. So glad you could join us today for Final Order FOMO. Be sure to watch more Final Order FOMO for all the last-minute ordering information. And remember to feed your brain at Green Brain Comics.